interaction right hello guys so let's start our today class uh, we're going to continue the like the point where we left uh, basically the event right event in javascript so let's look at that so so what i have done right uh, is just comment out the all the functionality of event right and we're going to look at one by one okay so first try to understand this code right what we have here is the body tag i mean you know this simple thing right a meta title whatever okay event handling examples the body tag with a form right form okay in the form you have input with type text name is example input whatever you can give here right placeholder is type something okay so in this input field you're going to type something right and then we have submit button with a button right with the submit fine so when you're going to click this submit button right what's going to happen this form will execute right basically this form will you know like this form will execute just think like that right so if right if i have just one form one form right you can you can even give an id here right uh, like id of let's say you know my form right and access this form okay so what you can access this form right and try to get the value from here and all that things you can do but the first thing is the first uh let's look at the event right document event okay uh dom content loader dom content loaded right means this is the event okay we're gonna go one by one event right the form first one is document event or dom content loaded right document event is what dom content loaded this is one of the events same like click or something right so in our document what we have just the form right so when this document load then the callback function here will execute okay that is the first thing uh let me let's let's comment this out also right so just remember dom content loaded right that's the event similar to click or maybe mouse change mouse over whatever right so just tell me what is this right event listener add event listener this is one of the api we handle the event in javascript right what is event so you have the html page now in that page right you're going to do something okay so let's go live view and then uh, try to understand again so let's say this is the html page right what happened this document right the dom is loaded in our page so that means when this document load right you want to do something <coughs> so in that situation you can call dom content load and your function to do something right okay clear so that is what uh, it is used for right dom content load when the document is loaded you want to run the function to do something so let's say i loaded when the page load right i want to display the ad also so let's add here uh there is console log but i will just alert right alert okay please uh buy product right product with 50 percent discount something like that right discount okay so let's check now what happened see that when the page load right when I mean this alert will run before even whatever happened right uh, let's see here we have to add some like you know like run this after certain time right but let's remove this one and do that because that will load fast you know a lot will always run fast right so let's uh, check in the console document fully loaded and parsed right look at this just remember when the page load this function run okay and you have console log something right so you can you know you can add, do anything in this function okay this is one of the event 
uh, event, right? Fine. The next thing is now, right? We have HTML form. So in HTML can be anything, okay? Don't uh, think like just a form, right? It can be anything, any DOM means what? All the HTML you put in the body, right? That is DOM. Means the whole website is DOM, right? One object. When that object load, loaded, right? Fully loaded. Then you want to do something, okay? Fine. So that is the DOM content load. Next is what? Next we're gonna, let's see, what is the next, right? Form event. So how are we gonna handle the form, right? Form submission. That's the one, okay? So let's uncomment this part. So you, you have the form here you can select that form with the name right if you have id how you can select uh query document dot query selector in the query selector you always if you have id you're gonna put hashtag like this an id name right form. if you just have the name of the element uh, before was form like this right uh, uh, form you can just keep the form name if you have class name here Last name, right? Let's call it, uh, you know, uh, login, right? Something like that. Then you're going to put dot, right? Dot login. S just remember the similar to CSS. When you have class name dot ID is has, right? And then the name will be just the name, right? So that's how you select the element with the query selector. Remember that part. The, and always, most of the time, just use query selector, right? Unless you have space, um, ID, uh, you want to use like uh, get element by ID or something like that. Okay, but you know this will do the job, right? Most of the time, I will use a query selector, you know, one one function, right? And based on ID or class name or name, I will I will uh, apply dot or has. Okay, so I will just keep the name for now form, right? Fine. Uh, now. Document query selector input. So you have this input. You selected this input. Okay. Uh, button. You have this button, right? So now tell me. This form has a button, right? When I click the button, I want to get data from this form and console log, right? Correct. Let's say I want to receive the data from the form. So let's minimize this and check. Okay, so clear that. Just imagine I want to fill out the form, right? Something and submit. Okay, in that case, I want to get this whatever inside here, right? And display that. So how I'm gonna do that? The first thing is I need to read the form. I need to read that input field, right? The button. There is two things, okay? Either you submit the form, right? With the Form dot add event listener submit and then you call your uh, callback function right to basically you know like get the data and all that so let's hear what I will do now right I'm just gonna delete this and uh, let data right equal or let's call it name right name equal to input so input right dot value okay control g dot value clear so let's do that and then console log that value right value so let's try submit and document fully loaded right parse okay so that is what happened but when i click here it did not run right i don't know why so i'm just going to refresh this page uh when the document load this run right but i want to submit this again basically i want to submit the form right submit value is not defined right so value is not defined where is the value So there is something wrong mistake. 
if value is not defined uh okay so this field i'm just gonna type right and submit and it says value is not defined right value is not defined so let's check that so what we have to do right when when you click see even this will give error okay so what we have to do is you have to call this one when you click the button right so here i will just call that and then i'm going to read the value and now it will give me the whatever current value right so let's try that it's still it's still giving me the error uh, so let's check uh, query selector i'm just document that query selector right input why it's not input type text name is there right placeholder something that's fine so when we submit the form when we're submitting the form okay it, i don't know why it's not working right uh, let me do one thing okay ah uh, here right i'm just giving uh sorry guys this one you know I should have put the name here you know my god that's why it's giving error so now just type something here in the field submit and you get that value right okay so the point here is submit event submit event that is what you have to understand see add event listener is just the api of the dom right and you can use that with all the event uh uh triggering right trigger you know like all the events even button how we can access uh, do the same thing you have button right so you can call here something like this you can call the button right dot add event listener here so when you click the button then uh that is submit right or now is click okay this time will be click you submitting the form but you are clicking the button right so click and then you can call the callback function and uh, you know let's uh, add the event so you and you can do the same thing here you don't want to refresh your form right so that's why event dot prevent default that will uh you know basically stop your form from reloading okay why you don't want to reload because you know you have some data in the field right uh, you want to so what i will do i'll just console log uh the text call button click right click okay you want to read uh let's try now right console log console dot log i want to even run the input dot value right Okay. and try now let's see what happened so we're gonna go back here and fill out the form so this is button test right test submit look at here so button is clicked and then this is button test right you can see the text here button click look at this button click right this is the button test clear so uh, you don't see this one right why because uh, you know you know this happens first then it went here right and then rerun that form again that's why the other information from here is lost already okay so you can comment that out but you can you know you can either use this way or even you can just add event submit right to the form also so in our in a, in, a, in our next year so you have seen on submit right the form has on submit event so that is the submit right uh, we can even add here let's see if i can get on submit right so let's check one more thing on submit and uh, maybe call like a function right let's call the function uh form form submit right or uh, save data okay let's call this function right so this is the 
you know another way right we can handle on submit so what what happened on submit right what what gonna when you click the form right when you click the this button submit first thing is this function will run okay so we don't have function so you can define the function here right somewhere like a function function save data right like that okay and uh, you know we can uh, add event or uh, maybe no need right? let's let's try no need data okay let's do one thing what we're going to do is uh, let's see oh i'm putting in the html right guys that is wrong okay that must be in javascript so somewhere here we have all the document uh, we have we can put it somewhere here right does not matter that is just a function so let's put it here good now i just want to console log right let's see what happened okay console.log and call this up like a unsubmit function run right function run clear let's try that so what i will do is i'll just gonna commit commit uh let's let's just click the button right i mean simply just click the button button is clicked and there is no value right this one okay so let's see let me comment this out for now submit so it just refresh the page right look at the page is refreshed right so you have to do the event right and then uh, basically prevent to refresh the page e dot prevent default right default let's see if that will work now yeah, it did not work so uh let's go back here and submit something is uh, uh how we can use that right maybe this is the wrong come with capital letter yeah I, uh on submit right uh, type submit uh, on submit you know the, it should run right i don't know why it did not on submit let's see yes see you yeah that's the one you know and we can run any function here right our function name is save data right save data so we just execute that function simply like that and that function should run right so even we don't have to pass all these things and it should basically you know console log this uh, information right so something is not correct okay what is happening right let me check uh, let me comment this out right and see if that will work because we have so many things in same place uh, maybe that is yeah so let's add e now and e dot prevent default okay uh save and run this okay guys it's not working right i mean i just added something extra here that i'm trying to you know check uh, according to the like how do we do in react right it should work i know that but something is missing here okay but let's not experiment too much right uh, during the class time uh let me remove that so we we look at the you know like on submit for the form submit and even the button submit right we have done that one what is the next part now keyboard event now right that there is a keyboard event so in the keyboard event uh we're gonna uh, let's see we have the keyboard down right so this one okay so let's say keyboard down right when you 
type something look at here when you typing means entering the keyword right see that that is something already when i click something you can see that event happening so what what is happening here document dot add event listener right the event is key down and then the function will run all the time so event dot key right so whatever key look at console log key down and how i can get which key i'm pressing with this event dot key will give me whatever key i'm pressing right okay so if you look at here you know let, let me clean this up yeah i, I just did something uh you know event dot key okay save now right and 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 press any key here and you can see your console is running right every time i click means every time i press the key right this function will run that event is triggering right trigger means uh, event take place the function will run and i when the function run it console log whatever the key i press right good so that is what uh happening here when the key down right next is uh let me comment that out or let's open this right key up okay so what what that means right so when i click and up right key up look at this two time one time is down one time one time is key up right so we can comment this and then so when you down oh not there in here right in the input field just like every time i enter right and when i release the button that key will be printed okay same thing you know just the function is same it's just the event happens when the key is up okay key press so what is key press now right let's take that key up key press right so in that case uh, let's save and uh, when you okay not that they are in the field you know so when you press anything right look at that uh key press is happening also same thing you know like when you press the key right it's just reading that key okay whatever c or d whatever i press so you can see key press r right i just press r okay because i have up also on uh, that's why you see all that okay so you can comment that out and then save and now try press key any key e i press not there in the input field sorry press that and you'll see key press right fine now finally the mouse okay the mouse also we have button right so mouse events so you click the mouse so the button see what what we do right we click here like submit right click on that uh, let's see I'm clicking the mouse right click on the button and let me prevent this right uh, prevent dot uh, event dot default or uh, prevent default right let me add this so that our my page will not refresh remember when you submit the form right the form will refresh automatically okay you don't want to do that right so that you have to add this line of code on the top when you submitting the form make sure in J javascript okay you put this line of code right now let's try to click this so that you can see button clicked on the console right look at here button clicked on the you can see here now because my form did not submit okay it just stayed there right so this line of code will run and display in the console clear so mouse next one is mouse over right let me close this and on this right so that was the click now mouse over okay so what is mouse over now right uh mouse over okay so i mean i bring the mouse here right nothing happened mouse over 
the button so let's bring the mouse on the top of the button right still nothing happening here yeah inspect we want to see that okay so the uh, again same thing okay we have to bring this save now and try now right so when i bring the mouse on the top of the button because i'm having event with the button right button dot add event is not so mouse over and it did not trigger right uh, oh so i don't know why it did not trigger okay mouse over right? so it should trigger but i have no idea why it did not trigger Oh, okay okay finally we see here now right refresh see it in the inspect mode it, it is not working right but uh, if i close this and i bring the mouse here right and then go back to the inspect in the console you will see that mouse over button there right so mouse over means uh basically when i bring the mouse on the summit uh, that function will run and you're gonna see this console log right clear so that is all you know the mouse out okay so same thing mouse out gonna be do the same thing right save this and uh, when you're gonna remove right now you're not gonna see anything but i bring the mouse over right and when i remove uh you should see that console log right let's try and mouse out of the button right look at this all right so it should trigger it, it just in the inspect uh, i don't know why it's not triggering but I mean, it should work right same thing okay same thing right this is the event and then you have the function to run right always remember that so what is the next thing unload event right so the the load event is trigger when the whole page including all dependent resources like image has loaded right same thing whole html right including maybe uh let's say image or anything right any links whatever right need to load if everything is loaded fully right in that situation unload event will run okay so just uh, basically refresh this page right and see what happened page fully loaded right look at this this automatically trigger okay i refresh the page and you will see that function running okay and that is that's why you see page fully loaded right load okay that's the event load on focus on blur these are the few things uh, you will see in the form sometimes so focus you know so when you bring the form uh, like let's say when you bring okay let me when the when an element gains or lose focus right so you know like to in, improve the interactivity of the form there is something called focus right so let's take this out and check how it work so if i bring the mouse here it did not work so let's let's go back again try now right now see when i just click and see if something happened right So see input focus right so it is changing even number is changing refresh this when i click here right look at that focus okay even that uh, border came right when i focus on that uh, input field or click on that input field so the, there is something called blur also right blur event i mean these things you never gonna use right i mean but still you know this is for the test case so you must understand right event basically the html dot add event listener right so when i say html means how you select that html okay that is important right you have to select something from the html and here we have selected all that right and that is what we are using input or button or form right and applying all that events so let me comment that out and go back here so blur what is blur now right blur is something like a if i click uh, you know you don't see okay 
so when i remove right when i remove means this is focus and when i remove the focus right that is blur okay so let's click that is focus when i remove the focus right that is blur so in that situation that function run right so that is blur event So what is now the last one i think we have changed if we unchanged right this event is triggered when the value of an input element is changed and element loses focus right okay so let's try that so i will uncomment this part save right so input value change right so let's type something here change the input right and when i remove the mouse right that means whatever change here i mean after that only uh this uh function run right so this will this will be very useful now remember when you're filling out the form right let's say you 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 have some some one field you want to type okay then only you want to run when you're done right not click but when you remove the focus when you remove the focus that means you have you you will be able to read all this value you know one time right how so let's do that one uh just okay leave that one and then below this i'm just gonna do console dot log right document i'll just write all line here right or maybe input right input we have input on the top dot value so whatever in the input value i want to get that right so let's try so type this here and remove right whatever i type input value change and then after that i get that value you see so anything i put in the field you can receive right that's the change means this event trigger when the value of the input element is changed and the element loses focus means soon i remove my cursor out that means that this input field lose the focus right the focus is gone in that situation this function will run so these are all in the most of the most common uh, uh, events right maybe there will be many but these are the most common one uh, i hope you get the idea now right see the the sick i mean the way we use this event right element dot add events listener most of the time right in javascript or sorry in the react even in javascript you will do uh on submit right or basically click okay you're gonna do the click right button click and then the function will run then in that function running you're gonna collect all the input fields from the form and that data you're gonna store somewhere right maybe you send for validation or you're going to send for uh, storage in the array or somewhere right so that's all the event guys uh let's let's what we're going to do next right uh let me check quickly here any question on until this point let me pause for now so now we're going to look at the form how we create a form right so let's add s1 here and i'll say you know, complete your application right something like that okay and then paragraph maybe please fill out the form right okay now we, we need what form form right form tag so what is form tag this is same like div or maybe section or any block element okay like a wrapper right but remember the semantic elements has special meanings same way the form has a special meaning right and it comes with the some of the built-in attributes okay so action means this action has some uh, some functionality right when you submit the form this action will trigger okay and then whatever the link here right your form data will send to that link so we we're not going to use all these things right now uh we don't have the place to send the form data right javascript normally we just i mean you can if you have the api right somewhere to store the data 
you know like uh, you can write all that code and send data right but uh, we're gonna most likely we're gonna do that during our express uh, you know we're gonna create api and then submit the form data right and send to the database that's what we're gonna do there but for now at least we need to understand when you submit the form right what happens okay let's say this is a target right for example this is the target or if you just want to have on submit function right you know some function to run okay some function right something to run here but for now let's remove that one let's focus on the form part one right so that's the form so what we're going to do now right uh first thing in the form uh, you want to have like different field form field field set you can add that here right something like what is field set now understand that these are just the box right wrapper for the different section of the form okay so you know you can have this field set inside you can add label like this right label let's say this is the name right for example name and then inside this label you can add the name like this or maybe you know like enter the name right okay and then here you can just put input uh yeah so the see how many we just look at the fill set that is used for wrapping or creating the box right like a div okay next is the label right label is to display the input field name the important element is input now right what is does is it creates basically it is used for collecting the data from the website input is used for collecting the data from the website input has some special attribute now right the first one is type what type of data is this text okay so soon i put text now right uh, let's run this uh, live view and look at here enter your name and you get that uh, text field okay so in your text field you can have few more things like for as a name right you must provide id with the same value called name and you give the name attribute also right that will be same thing name why name name too many name right don't confuse id name these are the attribute type is attribute okay i can put here name one or maybe i can put apple right and i can add here okay why why i doing i'm doing that so because the for an id has the same value that is apple if i click this label my focus is inside the input now look at that focus right so that improve the accessibility of the form right that's the reason for the for this tells that this input belongs to me my label right okay so that is all you have to do right and there is something like a you can add like required if you want right so that you know if we, if you submit the form okay let's add here right like input type of submit okay and maybe i will give the value right Submit. so if i submit this form right i get error why because it is also doing the validation for me that is required you cannot submit the form without you know uh, without uh, filling out something right so when you click submit and basically the page refresh right look at that so yeah so that's that's how we add the name so we can quickly uh you know copy this list for email that for password right so enter your email the thing is we understand 
input types okay different types of input right so here type will be email let's change for also right for email uh, so that i need to change the id email and the name will be email right good required okay this input type email now if you don't put the correct email right like at the rate and if there is dot com if not there then it will give you error okay fine i get this uh, email in the same line right with the label we have to add some css later but for now let's send this call to password pwd id i will make it password pwd but the input type must be password type right so look at here how many type we have text is one email is one password is one right and here the name is also password. so you know when you send the data right it will store in the password equal to whatever password you put there okay say so you can have required 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 fine uh what i will do i'm just gonna add some css right quickly here uh in the form error many right so let's add it here on the top simple css i'll just twist style and i will select label right like this and make it display to block block okay save this so it looks something like this now my label because the label is inline element right i convert to block and add or maybe just give some margin right top and bottom of one em and left and right make it for now zero but here okay so that is you know there is some space between them so na interior name interior email password right so if you submit now it will give you error so let's put something there submit it says okay you need to have the at the rate all that right so br at the rate gmail.com right and gmail mail.com summit okay so that's how it works and we get the input field so what are the other stuff we can learn in the uh so we understand input now right how to use input the next uh let's do one more type right here so we can add uh let's add a couple of here okay select I think you know, I added the code here, right? So let's maybe copy paste. Select, we can add select, you know? So let's do that, right? Select, I'll just copy the select. Select the country, right? So copy, oh no, don't put that, just copy. And I will show you what we're gonna do, right? So first select, first we're gonna put the label. Uh, let's give it country right? C O U N T R Y country and inside here I'm gonna put the select so the select uh, first select country right select country like this and below that and this one all right select is uh, ID country that is equal to for and the name is country so whatever value is select right will be you know uh should be there right so let's select that see select country and you have this here option to select right so that's how we add select okay so the next thing we can do is uh maybe we can add uh okay let's add a couple of things in this field right uh, we're gonna add maybe radio button check box so and then maybe the you want to maybe uh select the file right so label or will be what uh, let's call it uh, upload something right all right let's call it file okay so here upload file right and then you're gonna put input input like this type will be what well, file so there is input type file also okay and close this 
so you have type we're gonna put the id right uh, that is equal to file matching the for value file and then uh you have id then what else we can add uh type is file id is file the name right give the name also i mean just i'm you don't have to remember all this right i'm just showing you you know if you're not uh it's better to maybe practice again that right? if you have like any doubt you can go back and practice from the you know from the pre code cam right so you can choose the file here okay you know there will be we're not going to process all this data right we're just learning how to create a simple form fine next you can have the what else we can have right uh, let's add the radio button and checkbox maybe inside here so label right uh, label so what we're going to add in the radio button right uh, let's say gender right so now for gender not, okay not gender but let's make it male for this here we're gonna have a first we're gonna have like a dot radio button right so that is input type okay input type will be radio right radio button and then input type radio then you're gonna have a name then see the in the radio button what happens you have many many right and you select one out of that so that's why the name must be same okay gender type name and what else we're gonna add value right value because when you select one of that value must be that answer and value is whatever value you're selecting okay and let's make it a check right checked so save this and you will see the radio button like that after that we're gonna call it the mail right the you know the label name right mail okay so see that you can copy the same thing put it here in that case for will be female but i i forgot okay for i don't i didn't add the id right so let's add id equal to you know same same for the for male okay here you don't put check in both of them right you just check one as a default check and then you can select other one later right so female type is radio name is gender value is female here female right and uh, what else we can do female and then id of course we're going to have to add id that is female so that it will match to our core done so look at now uh, okay here that you know the label right good so either you can select this or this right okay when you submit the value this value will be send gender equal to female right like that so we have now radio button what else we need uh i think uh checkbox right so let's add checkbox also so same thing label and let's call it uh uh terms right terms and condition like that terms okay so here select the input field type will be checkbox see all is input right input is used for collecting the data from the field and the or each input has a value okay so sometimes you assign the value here but in the in this case you're going to collect value from here right now when you type then you're going to collect this value later right when this when you submit okay so checkbox and uh of course i need id that is terms and then name give the name right that is terms uh, what else we need the value uh what value right maybe 
maybe i mean i don't know what value you can put you can add the link to send somewhere but let's add a value right here is for now you know let's put it terms and condition right condition okay but clicking this or uh, checkbox right that means you agree to our terms and condition if you want to visit terms and condition right you can maybe just add a link tag here you know just put link tag right like a tag here like this and then let the people click and go to the website somewhere to the terms and condition read there right that's the point okay uh okay just close that and we're gonna add the label here call it terms and condition condition right save this so you get something like that by checking this you know you can add the link here okay you can do that right wrap this one with the link a tag clear so one thing i think i'm we missing right uh, normally you have this you know the text box email password select box choose file right so how are you going to collect data from all these fields and then uh, one thing will be what is that uh, text area right let's add it here label uh, bio let's call it bio right and uh, yeah so that is text area now okay? if you if you want to add like a lot of text in that case you're going to use that right name is bio id is bio bio right like that save and you will get something like that so label let's add the label here right please enter your bio right okay you want to increase this uh, size little bit you can do that uh, maybe add number of columns how much maybe 20 and the row rows right you want to add like uh let's make it 10 and save something like that or you can increase the columns to 30 right so it looks something like that you want to type and done right so these are the basic uh, uh form right that's how you create a form of course there is a styling all that let's not go there right now uh you can you know you can learn how to create forms from the free code cam examples even we have the code here already right uh, in our css part uh, what is that css okay i don't know why i don't see right the css it's oh readme file sorry guys in the readme file you're gonna find that code here right from the but if you want you can go back to the free code camp and practice okay if you have time on the weekend right if you want to just visit form again one time so tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to learn about the collecting data right uh, if, if you get time just walk through here okay uh, that's what i did just now in the index phase see all this uh, little bit uh, you know like there are some forms here you can see that and uh, javascript code right retrieving the form value okay so when you submit the form and click this function run right and when that function runs these are the steps you have to look at okay so form dot element and that element right like a username or password the name equal to okay if you look at the name right name equal to whatever is the name this one if username then the value from this input will be collected value right will be collected collect collect all that value and then uh yeah you're collecting the value from the checkbox so this is how you not checkbox so radio button right this is how you collect value from the radio button and you can console log all this right right now we just console log all that so just look at that okay and then tomorrow we're going to continue from there all right uh, let me stop for today class any question please ask me right